Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Shout out today to all those men down in Florida at Trinity Freedom Ranch. I love you guys. Thanks for watching these devotionals and sharing them with people you know, and I pray that they help you in this time of transition in your life. And with that, this is for you today. John chapter 8, verses 39 through 41. It reads, they answered him. So they, the crowd, answered Jesus and said, Abraham is our father. They're pointing back to their heritage. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I had heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are doing the works your father did. And remember yesterday, we learned that that father is Satan, the devil, the father of lies. They said back to Jesus, we were not born of sexual immorality. We have one father, even God. So, uh, fellas, as Jesus is talking with these men about who he is, he's trying to get them to understand who they are. And he's trying to get them to think beyond all their long-standing assumptions that are very natural, physical, and ancestral, right? He wants them to look at life spiritually, but they just can't do it. And because they don't understand it, Jesus tries to take another angle on the way he explains it. He starts with Father Abraham, presenting his heritage of faith and obedience that reveals who he was. And then he contrasts this with who they are and the father that they were born from, Satan. How about that? But again, they still just don't get it, right? Uh, I just got to have you guys know today that this little spat here is just like some of the arguments me and my wife have <laughs> sometimes. I mean, I got to tell you, at least once a year, we have this big blow up argument where she sees something one way and then I see it another. And we argue back and forth and back and back and forth and back and forth for hours over one tiny little detail because she can't see it my way and I can't see it hers. This, this isn't a perfect example of what's happening in this situation, obviously, because, well, Jesus is always right and we are always wrong. And in the case of my wife and me, she is never wrong, even though I'm always right, right? <laughs> well, that's exactly what's happening in this situation. These men are struggling to get it. It doesn't matter how Jesus explains it or says it or attempts time after time. And now we watch them trying to defend their position with him, which is really an indefensible position. So here's the application. You're going to love this. If you are a believer, then Jesus is Lord. Lord. Don't try to defend your position before him. Accept the fact that you are always wrong and he is always right. Confess your wrongdoing and then work to see it from his perspective. Change course and do what he says, even when you don't understand it. And remember, that's what belief looks like. It's your actions adapted to what Jesus wants because he saved you and commands your life as your Lord. It's his life affecting all of your identity, clarifying you are a child, a son of the living God. That's it. So don't defend yourself to Jesus. Just do what he says. It's that simple. I love you guys. I pray this blesses you. If it has, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.